Hi, this is David. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use M365 Copilot to interact with a Microsoft Teams meeting. I'm recording this video through Teams right now, um, and uh, to use Copilot, really all you need to do is have transcriptions turned on. So if you hit record and transcribe, grab, I'm already recording this right now, but I could also, I could record and transcribe or I could just transcribe. That's all you need. You can actually see the transcription showing up over here. Um, once you do that, you can use Copilot, and I can do that in the middle of a meeting. So imagine if I showed up a few minutes late for a meeting, and I just, you know, tell me, see, I just joined. What did I miss? That might be useful information. If you show up 15 minutes late for a meeting, you want to catch up in a hurry, you don't want to ask anybody or read through the transcript, then you can see right here it's generating a response. And it shows a little bit about what has happened so far in this meeting. Now, um, it's also useful once the meeting is over, a meeting that you missed. Of course, you can watch the recording if you want, or you can read the transcript for a long meeting. That might take a lot of time. You might not be interested in all the details of that meeting. You want to just summarize it. So I'll show you that with this meeting that my friends Peter and Lucy and I recorded a couple of weeks ago. And in this meeting, we pretended to organize a, uh, a conference. It was a call that to plan for a make-believe conference. And here's the recording of it. And I can come in here and you can see that there are a couple of links right here, uh, like show highlights, summarize the video. This would be a really common thing. You could type that in or just click on summarize the video. It'll type it for you. But that'd be a really common thing. What what was this meeting about? I don't want to watch the entire um, two hour meeting, whatever it is. I just want to know the takeaways of it. And this has already indexed the, 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 the transcript of the meeting. It knows what it's about. And it's now it's generating something in English because that's what the language of my choice is. And it tells me the things that are right here. It's really cool because not only does it summarize it and much like get through is a lot shorter than watching or reading the full meeting, but it also has a link to it. So for the speakers that we talked about that at the six minute, 10 minute, six minute, 10 second mark. And if I click on that and hit play, there I am at the six minute, 10 second mark right here. Very cool stuff. I can also say something like, um, maybe I'm only interested in a particular topic and I could just say, uh, what did we decide about food? Maybe that's the part, and all I really care about is that. Give me a summary just of the food discussion, and not only will it tell me what we talked about when we mentioned food, David will research nearby restaurants to offer pizza, salads, et cetera, but also a link at the three minute, 29 second mark. I should probably mute this. And there's the, there's the link right there, three minute, 20 second. So if I wanted to hear that particular discussion, I could go here and find more details about it. And finally, maybe I could do something that we didn't explicitly say in the meeting. So if I say, what are the next steps? Well, this video that we did not actually use the phrase next steps in the meeting, but it's smart enough to figure out what are, we're going to be doing going forward. And it'll come up with this. And these are the action items grouped by who? This is what Lucy needs to do. This is what David needs to do here and here. Lucy also is going to do that. Peter is going to do that. And the team as a whole is going to meet next Tuesday. And again, links to those particular spots. If I want to know where I was committed to doing this sessionize.com, call for speakers, I could read explicitly and get more details right there. So this is really useful information. It's using artificial intelligence to understand not only that what the transcript was, and the transcript is not really coded language, it's a human readable language, English in this case, and it's outputting things in English as well. So it's a really powerful tool that can increase your productivity. This is David. Thank you for watching. Yeah.